Guns with him. McKellar wins it well. Trapped by Adamson. Adamson out wide, and the lead is there by Jenkins. Jenkins will be outpaced by Holly. Up again. Farm tap. Bartlett caught. Dropped the ball when tackled. Free kick against him. Twelve and a half minutes gone. Second quarter. Richmond 37 to Collingwood 25. Lee Adamson with the free kick into the centre of the ground. Boynich in front again. His mark. Richmond two and a half goals down early in play and now two goals up and here they are asserting their authority. A kick by Boyanich is marked however by Collingwood playing in front and it's Lee Adamson whose return to the back line I would say was most welcome. Adamson has Roger Dean to look after and whether he finds that an enviable task or not only he could see. The ball coming back to the centre wing up there. Rex Hunt was the man who left the highest. Down it goes to Shooty having a feast of kicks there in the back pocket. Down it goes wide, an opportunity for Lee Adamson. Adamson will get a short one across towards Greening. Greening centre wing looks there and kicks a right footer for McKenna. Great kick, Greening. And McKenna takes them up. He's coming down a little too much. Though, a long way. Too far down. He may even have been more Duns waiting in the forward pocket. But McKenna looks for a short one. He's going to try this run again. He's done it. He's in trouble. Kicks. Beautiful. Back lane, Peter Nice can't mark the ball, recovers well towards the centre wing. Bounces awkwardly. Centre wing. Oh, great dash by Lee Adamson. Adamson number 33 for the Collingwood side. Bangs it down towards Big Bob Hurd. He's in for Hawthorne. He boots it now up towards the half forward line. Adamson and uh, Big uh, McCarthy fly, but Adamson got it in the back. It wasn't McCarthy, it was Stevenson who got into the back of Adamson, and it's Adamson to take the free kick. 14 kicks too thorough. He's played a very good game. A very serviceable game at uh, centre-half back. For a period, he was on to Peter Hudson, but only stayed momentarily there, and now he boots it to centre-half forward. Heard flies, but the man in front is Dunn, will be paid the mark. Dunn was playing at full-back for the third quarter in the early part of the, the final quarter. He thumps at a good 65 metres, right down towards McKenna. It's going to bounce towards goal. McKenna has... ...have never looked likely to win this game since early in the second quarter. There's the kick by Maloney. It's over at Noonan's head, and it's marked for Collingwood by Lee Adamson and that could be a 15 metre penalty no, it's not. I think Lee was hoping it would be <laughs> all time is getting dangerously short for Dines 30 minutes of elapsed in the final quarter long kick by Adamson right over the centre Dunn flies high a chance for Collingwood to come forward through O'Callaghan he boots it to the open spaces McKenna is too slow but the bounce Comes in, goes for the short pass. It hasn't got enough legs. Swat Walls is in there. The bounce, not a good one for him. Pushed aside here by Adamson. Kicked off the ground by the same player into the open territory. The race is on. Centre wing on the outer side of the ground. It's been picked up neatly by Adamson. He gets rid of it. Taken by Daryl Salmon. Daryl Salmon from centre wing with a hand pass across here to Robert Dean. He's on half forward flank. Touches it once. Goes for the long kick. Kick high. Up towards the forward pocket. This over on top of the ball. And crashing through as courageous Gary Crane. Kicks high up towards centre half forward. And diving mark comes off for Lee Adamson. Adamson. Lee Adamson should come straight up the ground toward Thompson. Thompson at centre half forward. The kick by Adamson hasn't got it correctly. It's from the side of the boot. Robert Dean flying. Oh, and just got it. A juggle mark has been paid. He's dead in the centre of the ground. The lead is out toward the half forward flank. The kick hasn't travelled to Oborn. Over the back of the pack is Bissett waiting to come. It's Bissett now on the half forward flank. Looks for Thompson. Thompson stretching. Thompson takes the mark in the forward pocket. Skittles a couple, or just about skittled a couple of cameramen on the way through. And then Thompson from this position has a very difficult shot. I'll just see what comes out of this. South beyond the mark has now been relieved and South will go back and take his position. He's right for one in the goal square. Thompson from this position only 40 yards out. Well, we go back to 35 metres. Thompson shoots at goal. It's swinging. It's up there. Drives down toward half forward. Kicks it high. They fly. Punched away. An opportunity for Adamson. Could have grabbed it but pushed it forward to the boundary line. The bounce slows him down a bit. Tackle too high around the neck and he'll take the free kick. Round the neck was right. <laughs> A rather wild one by Robbie Walls on that occasion. A very lively game of football being witnessed by 60,500 people at VFL Park as the kick comes in from Adamson up toward Big Peter. It has been missed by O'Callaghan, taken out and good balking by Walls, getting the ball forward. A charge for Adamson of Collingwood, picking up now a small kick, not a good one, could find Robert Dean. He's very close to the boundary line, he's out of bat. Not fooling around, got uh, kicking in very quickly and going the short pass, Crane drops an easy one. Adamson comes in here, does a hop, step and jump, picks the ball up, gets a hand puck. Walls leads from centre half forward. Mackay passes, chipping in was Adamson, couldn't judge it. It's a free kick for pushing the back and Lee Adamson will be the recipient. He's on half back flank. On the member side of the ground, Collingwood kicking to the Wellington Road end of VFL Park. The kick from Adamson. Uh, 
from it's been picked up by Duell who burst his way through the pack and a short kick coming up where it's been missed by each player in turn taken here by Adamson hand pass downfield to Bissett Bissett now on the right foot looking downfield to where we see the Hurst tries to get in tried to be tapped out here it's been tapped out by Wayne Richardson towards Bissett Bissett with the fumble secures gets a hand pass out here and now it's Collingwood through Adamson see the ball go up towards our half forward flank position and uh, the mark will be paid down there and it'll be Alan Atkinson to take the kick He's on half place to get round and secure. He goes for the kick. It comes up towards centre wing area. The bounce beats Robert Walsh, taken by Adamson. And he spins past Quirk very nicely onto the left foot. High up towards Jake and Croswell from the house. Comes to Crane. Crane coming through, set a half forward. A kick isn't a good one. It's bouncing toward O'Culligan. O'Culligan there hooks it in nicely. Now goes back to get the kick pushed out by Nichols, but he had the kick in time. It's been put to the turf now. Adamson and Walsh to do battle. O'Culligan came in using strength. Got a hand pass out now. Was Adamson looking for O'Culligan once again? Players came through as O'Culligan keeps going. He drives up toward the half-forward flank for Collingwood. That's in. Secures. Gets onto the left foot now. Kicks the ball high. Out towards Carlton's half-forward flank. Adamson Good going up it and taking a clever mark. Hand pass is towards Cranage. The kick a high one. Hasn't got that much distance. Robert Dean's down there. Got the front position. And Dean, who's marked well all day, brings it down again. He's on centre wing on the members' side. Carlton are going with the breeze to the Wellington Road end of VFL Park. Collingwood against the breeze at the southern end of the ground. It's Max Richardson with the front. Salmon. Over goes Salmon. Stephen Ray picks up. A hurried kick forward. And a mark of defence to Lee Adamson. Adamson kidding for 15 metre penalty and he gets it. Oh, Billy, I think you made a blue then. Adamson's kick up towards the centre half forward posse for the mag. As Jack and up high over the pack gets it straight though to Barton of Richmond. Adamson in front, it's punched away from Adamson and up by Della sees that Burke was over the top of Adamson and he gets the free kick. Adamson at centre half back for the Woods, a good kick from Adamson goes almost to centre half forward. Thompson's up, good by like Green, Green's up up in front. A good effort to mark by Green, called play on as Adamson bursts away from the pack. A hand pass to Max Richardson. Richardson on now to Cranage. Cranage with a left foot kick goes wide, but there's nobody home for Collingwood. Lamb's kick to the half forward, Frank, on the member stand side. And a mark taken by Lee Adamson, and he shows it to Dick Clay. I don't think there's a lot of love lost there. Adamson's kick, that's a nice one too. Swing in towards centre half. Sheedy does a rough rover, Burke to half-back flank. There's a short one goes out to Adamson, unfortunately uh, for Collingwood, Royce Hart couldn't quite get there in time, and Adamson took the mark. Clay has gone back to full-back, and McGee to centre half-back, as Adamson goes straight up to the centre of the ground. Burke's up from out, uh, back forward once again. Hart comes out, the ball goes over his head. Adamson's air, Sproul comes in. Adamson gets it across here. Cranage puts it to the wing position on the 66. 15 points of difference, a short one out now from Clifton, almost dropped by Salmon, back to Clifton, don't fiddle around, you'll lose it, over towards Adamson, Adamson a hand pass to Cranage, Cranage of Collingwood coming through now, up towards centre half forward, McGee. The Tigers forward once again, Jenkins in that lot, up they go, hands everywhere, the ball comes to Adamson, a long kick by Adamson, ball bounces, Hart's in there, Hart hooks it around, here's a chance now for uh, Adamson, he gets it over to uh, Clifton, Clifton tries a hand pass to Salmon, it's a long kick, up into the wing position.